Oh, we, need to, oh, we don't have time. We don't have time. We just need to defend this draw. Oh, my God. We can't make this up. Goretzka with so much time and space on the far post. Volleys at home. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the Romel HD channel. Welcome back to another episode of this Manchester United career mode. This is episode 48. Okay, before we cover the games that we played off camera, this is what's going to be played on camera today. So we're for certain going to play the semi-finals uh, of the Carabao Cup, the first leg and the second leg. And we're going to be facing Liverpool on the 7th at home and then on the 28th away from home. We also have Liverpool in the league as well. So we're going to have uh, three Liverpool games. I don't think I'm going to play this one on camera because I feel like uh, playing Liverpool three times on camera is just overkill. Uh, but when it comes to like the FA Cup, I'll probably play like the fourth round if we do get a better team and then uh, play one other Premier League game. Most likely uh, the Leicester game or the Southampton game on camera. Okay, so these are the games I played off camera, which was pretty much the whole of uh, December. Uh, well, the rest of the games after that Liverpool game where we won 3-2. So we beat Celtic 2-1. We beat West Ham United in the league 4-1, beat Brighton 1-0 in the league, 2-1 victory against Aston Villa, uh, went to us, uh, that's also in the league. Carabao Cup quarterfinals, we beat Crystal Palace 2-0 and we beat Fulham 3-1 on the 29th of December. So we had a lot of Ws, uh, we're on a bit of an unbeaten run now since that defeat against Juventus, so from the 26th of November. We've gone on a good run and uh, hopefully we can continue that throughout January. Okay, so at the end of the last episode, we were taking a look at the shortlist for the 2024 Player of the Year. So on that shortlist, there was Martial, Pedence, Valverde and Rashford. For me, I predicted Rashford because of his contribution from the end of last season to the beginning of this season. So I'd like to reveal the 2024 Player of the Year award and it's gone to Marcus Rashford. So yeah, congratulations to the English winger. He did really well coming back from his injury last season, uh, racking up the goals, helping us in the Champions League final and continuing that form uh, into this season. Uh, because of all of those wins off camera, we did rack up a lot of points. So yeah, as you can see, Manchester United are on top of the table with 48 points on the table. With six points clear of Chelsea, who are second, they have 42 points on the table. Uh, third place, uh, we have Tottenham Hotspur. They are... Uh, Third with 41 points. Uh, Liverpool, they are fourth with 37, and Everton are just behind their rivals, uh, just by three points with 34 points on the table, and they're fifth. Okay, so outside of the top four, we have uh, Manchester City at sixth place with 33 points, and Arsenal are seventh with 28 points on the table. So Arsenal found a way to, to bounce back from their shocking form. They were 17th at some point uh, in the league. Okay, so now it's time to take a look at some of the departures in terms of the low moves for the young players in my side. And uh, yeah, we're going to start off with uh, Jordan Willis. He's gone out on loan to Sevilla for six months. Charlie Still, he's gone to Burnley for six months. Walsh, he's gone to Getafe CF uh, for six months as well. Uh, Reeve, he's gone to Everton. He's got, Hopefully he gets some first team football in the Premier League. He's gone to Everton. Uh, Jacob, the Argentine. Uh, don't know why I clicked that. Yeah, he's gone to Brighton. He's on loan for around six months as well. So yeah. A few players have left uh, on loan to gain some first team experience, which is only going to do me some good. Uh, I've got a lot of players that's coming through the academy and it's going to be interested to see who makes it into the first team and who I have to end up selling uh, because we don't want to stockpile on a bunch of young players. Okay, so while we're on the topic of transfers, this January, I did say I was looking to bring a left back in. But now that I think about it, we only have four more months until Dino's back. And we also have Maya, he's coming through the academy and uh, Luke Shaw's playing well. I believe that signing another left back will probably be overkill. Uh, I do still have this list here just in case. I do still have a lot of left backs in mind to sign. Uh, I preferably want to sign someone that's not young because I don't want him to trod on the toes of Maya. I feel like Maya is going to be the future number three in our team. As you can also see, I do have uh, searches for central midfielders and just general world-class players. So yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on a, on a lot of the reports that come in during January, 
So far, I'm not going to make a move for anyone. I do have a few players in my shortlist, but I have no intention of bringing anyone in uh, as of from now. So yeah, at the moment, it's the 1st of January, so my mind can change once we, once we get to the 15th. Okay, so we started off quite decent to January. We played two games off camera. We drew 3-3 three, three against Leicester City and we won 4-1 against Southampton. Next, we have the Liverpool game, the first leg of the Carabao Cup. But before we get into that, uh, we are going to take a look at our offer that we received from River Plate for our, our young talent uh, from the academy, Brian Anderson. As you can see, 17 years of age, is overall 69. So we're pumping out a lot of wonder kids. So yeah, I'm going to sanction the short-term loan, uh, give him uh, some first-team experience abroad. Okay, so we end up renewing Luke Shaw's contract. He's extended it uh, by another three seasons. I've given him a bumper deal. He's gone up to uh, 236k per week. So I'm quite happy to, to give him a new contract. He's played quite good this season. He's kept himself fit. He plays week in, week out. Okay, so this is how I'm going to be lining up in this game against Liverpool. Uh, we're going to start off with Matt Turner and goal. Brandon Williams, he's at the back with uh, Tomori, Varane and Maya. In the middle, we have Barella, Van der Beek and Johnston. Barella's playing as a number six for this game. At the end, he's going to start up front. On his left, we have Vinicius Jr. And to his right, we have Pedence. I'm quite confident that we can cause a shock. The reason why I, sh I say a shock is because obviously my side is more rotated compared to Klopp's side. And uh, the fact of the matter is we do have a few weak links in the side. Brandon Williams, his uh, performances are always up for question. And uh, we do have an uh, inexperienced left back as well, which Mo Salah will probably be targeting on the, on the right-hand side for Liverpool. We're starting to get down to the nitty-gritty. Just four teams left in the Carabao Cup and the stage is set for an absorbing semi-final. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV Live. Okay, here we are. We're at Old Trafford for the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. I am kind of itching to win this trophy. We haven't won it since the first season. And uh, yeah, I, I do want to add some uh, domestic trophies to my cabinet. Okay, let's get this game underway. Liverpool are the team that's kicking off. They're attacking to the left and we're attacking to the right. Uh, I'm going to be expecting some high intense football over the two legs. Well done, Donny van der Beek. Van der Beek still has the ball. Oliver Johnson. Thinks over the top there is Van der Beek. Oh, well done by Trent Alexander-Arnold. He gets in the way just in time. I was about to pull the trigger just as he put his foot in. He's going to aim for that bottom right corner. There's a Jota. Robertson. Liverpool moving the ball like lightning. Moran's there to stop and break down the attack. As I'm starting to come forward now. Who's played out to the left by Adiemi into Vinicius Jr. Vinny Jr. is there. And he gives the ball to Adiemi. And it's a simple tap in to give us the lead. It, within 15 minutes of the game. Okay, Jota has the ball. Turns and he loses it. It's Tomori. Moran. Rand's caught in possession. The wrong place to get caught out in. Liverpool have the ball. He has a bow. Shot there by Jota. And there's 1 1. Poor mistake by Varan. Got caught in possession. And uh, we had a few opportunities to recover. But we just didn't do enough in the end. Shocking defender, man. That, I don't understand why he took so long to get the ball from under his feet. All he had to do was turn and play the ball off to the left. Don't really expect that from your experienced centre back. There's Maya into Vinicius. Adiemi caught in possession. Okay, so it's half time. We're going into the break leveled. Uh, so we opened the score and early on with Adiemi. And then a, a mistake at the back from Varane led to Jota having a free pass at our goal and he took it. So yeah. We're going in level and uh, it's quite a shocking performance in terms of possession retention. So uh, right now we're lacking composure on the ball.
I don't know what happened there. I really don't know what happened. So we're losing 2-1 now. I've accidentally thrown the ball to a Liverpool player. So we've got a lot of mistakes on us at the moment. So as you can see, I rolled the ball out. I intended to throw it out to Pedence, but for some odd reason, he's given the ball straight to Jota and eventually Liverpool play the ball around the keeper and put the ball into the back of the net. Okay, so we're making two changes. Van der Beek and Adiemi are coming off. We're going to bring on McTomney and Martial. Hopefully Martial can help us revive this. As it stands, we're trailing 2-1 and Liverpool have a free kick, which they take short as Alexander-Arnold. Back heels it. Marino. Well done, Maya. Makes the block. As Vinny Jr. plays up the line into Barella, who has the ball, can run into a lot of space. Martial. Play it off to the right. Williams. Pedence. There we go. Barella's on the field to make his first contribution, which is to equalize this guy. In the right place at the right time. Well done by the referee to play on. After that poor tackle from Fabinho. And we capitalise on the advantage being played. Okay, so 78 minutes played. Liverpool have a free kick. is put in and Jota is there again. Jota is a real problem. That's a hat-trick from the Portuguese winger. This guy, he's just been an issue this whole game. I don't understand how none of my players can mark this guy and beat him in the air. McTomney, he should be doing better. We, I would have personally put Tomori on him. But really and truly, McTomney should be winning that battle. He's taller than him. He's stronger than him. More physical than him. Okay, so we're trailing again. Shocking defending. Uh, I feel like Tomori and Varane, they're done. Whenever I play one of these guys in a partnership with anybody, we do concede quite a few goals. And playing these two together is, yeah, it's just a, a lot of mix-up going on. Shoulder Shaturi threw on goal. I tried to dink Allison, and he denies me. Ball gets cleared up the field. Oliver Johnson heads it down. Vinicius has the ball. No one dare to cut it back to penalty. Oh, my God. Referee, how have you not given that penalty? So four minutes added on. Liverpool are in our box, pressuring us, trying to add a fourth to the collection. So Mo Salah is injured. Corner kick. Played into the box. Williams heads it out. Robertson recovers the ball for Liverpool. They're still on the attack. Still a threat at the moment. Can they grab their fourth? At the end, and uh, they have... Liverpool are 4-2 up. We have a mountain to climb in this second leg. Longley smashes it in. It's just shocking defending. I can't even get angry. I've come I've 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 become uh, accustomed to this. This behavior from my players. We've shown that we're weak defensively time after time. We do get punished time after time as well. Okay, so it's half time in this tie. Liverpool are 4-2 up. Like I said before, we have a mountain to climb. Got another bug here. What a lovely bug to see, Diogo Jota. So that just proves he's actually cheating because he's a sorcerer. So yeah, we lost 4-2. Thank you to those who've managed to subscribe to the channel already. We managed to hit 100 subscribers. Now our next milestone is 300. Also, if you're enjoying my content, please remember to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell just so you're notified once I've uploaded. Okay, now let's get back to the video. Lose the will to play this game. Like, this is what kind of deters me from actually playing this save. It's just things like this. Anthony Martial's out for seven months uh, with an anterior cruciate ligament injury. This is just... I'm really fed up with this. It makes the save really hard to play and enjoy because you're just going to get hit with continuous injuries that just don't add up or make sense how can i have two players out each season with the same injury okay so this is a chance for me to give opportunities to the fringe players i am going to play this game off camera but i'm just uh, giving you an example of what i'm doing so players like pedence who barely get, get any opportunities abraham 
Uh, Leonard, he's on the bench as well. Tomori, I need to figure out how to utilize him as a centre back because I consistently concede when he's playing. Same with Varane as well. I need to get used to using him again. Or it may be time is up for Varane as a United centre back. So we're currently four points clear on the top of Chelsea. Uh, they're the team that's second and the next game that we have to play on camera is against Tottenham Hotspur. I've now agreed to allow Shola Shaturi to go out on loan. He's gone to Piemonte Calcio, that's Juventus. He wasn't playing any games at all. It was really hard for me to find uh, games for him to just come off the bench and uh, feature. And he did look impressive a couple times in the Champions League. So when he came off the bench in the Champions League, he did play well. And whenever he featured in the Carabao Cup, he played good as well. However, it just wasn't enough to push Pedence out of, the, out of his spot and Sancho out of his spot. So yeah, I've agreed to allow him to go out on loan. Okay, so it's time to look at the start and 11 for this FA Cup fourth round against Tottenham Hotspur. So I've gone with Matt Turner and goal at the back. We have the low Tomori and Arce, Arceo, sorry. And uh, Maya uh, Shuameni, he's going to be in the midfield with Van der Beek and Wurtz. Sancho's up top, Adiemi's in the middle, despite his uh, lack of fitness. And we have Rashford, who's the captain for this game. On the bench, we have Leonard, so yeah, he's going to feature in this game. If we do get a good performance out of Adiemi, I'll probably bring Leonard later on into the match to like basically get a feel of him, uh, see if he can contribute with the little time that he may have. Okay, so let's go. Manchester United versus Tottenham Hotspur in Old Trafford. We're hosting them in the fourth round of the FA Cup. And uh, yeah, they look ready. They look ready to go. They're trying to push forward already. But if you had the forward line that they have, that's how you would start a game. They have Gabriel Jesus joined the squad in January from Everton. It's Kiesa. Passes it into space. Gabriel Jesus. Emerson Royale switches play. Ben Davis on the other side. Goretzka. Son helps uh, Tottenham take the lead. And they found the way to score Good. again. Wurtz plays it forward. Adiemi up front on his own. Loses the ball. Oh no. Oh no. Soler with the shot. Matt Turner with the save. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I really don't. It's like all their passes just drill, 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 drill. I can never intercept any of their passes in the right moments. So as you can see here, he just drills it. He drills it across into Son. I might have to add uh, some passing error because that is just ridiculous. Okay, so uh, we're trailing 2-0. This is not looking good for us, guys. This is not looking good for us. We're losing 2-0 in the FA Cup and we're trailing in the Carabao Cup 4-2 on aggregate. It seems like we're going to be crashing out of the domestic cups again. Sancho, the low with the overlap. Shermeni in the center. Adiemi, we pulled one back. We really needed that goal. Kareem Adiemi smashes it home to make it 2-1. Yeah. Well, we need to move this ball forward. Playing really stiff. I'm on the ball over the top. Leonards can take it down. Oh, such an input delay. Ref, penalty given. Oh my God. He's given the penalty. Leonards has a... Uh, made contact with Ben Davis or opposite way around Ben Davis made contact with Lennart and uh, I, I feel like it was a soft penalty but I'm going to take it okay so Di Maria is replacing Chiesa he's been the main threat if I'm honest with you he's been causing a lot of issues oh, Marcus Rashford to step up to take this penalty to complete the comeback to get us level on terms I'm going to Go for the top right. Oh my god, it's been saved. Hugo Loris has been a problem all game as well. This guy's denied me every opportunity he's had. And he's denied me just then when it really mattered to us. Okay, so one last opportunity for us. Shemeni works. He's brought down. This is a real cheat, man. 
He's done that on purpose. There's no way, nah, artificial intelligence has taken over this planet. There's no way you'd make such a sacrifice like that. How are you that smart to do that? That is something I would do. And it's really annoying that it's happened to me. He's just denied me an opportunity to get a late equaliser. <laughs> and now I'm just left with a free kick. Which I haven't. I haven't been able to score one in ages. Oh my god. Okay, Marcus Rashford steps up. Oh my god. This is so agonizing. This is so agonizing. I can't believe this is how it ends. This is how our FA Cup journey ends. There it is. The final whistle has blown. We are knocked out of the FA Cup by Tottenham Hotspur. We were denied from a penalty spot. That was the opportunity for us to make it 2-2. We were denied a goal scoring opportunity which they were punished for. <sighs> For further updates outside of the channel, please be sure to follow me on Instagram at RomelHD so you get further updates such as me premiering a video, if I'm recording a video or making new content and also when I'm about to upload. So follow me on Instagram at RomelHD. Okay, so uh, yeah, that was not really good at all. We've not been good for a while on camera. So uh, we do need to evaluate our performances because this is getting really shocking now. We have now officially been knocked out of the FA Cup. Uh, we've not won the FA Cup in three seasons or yeah, three seasons now because we're knocked out. And uh, the Carabao Cup is all we have left. We need to end that poor domestic cup streak where we don't go far in the cup. Or, and if we do make it to the final, we come short. So my plan so is to, to address it head on find out or figure out what's going on in terms of the tactics and uh, I do need to find my best 11. I've been rotating a bit too much and I feel like it's having an effect on my chemistry with some of the players and the playing style. Like so, even though certain players have high overalls, I don't like the way they feel when I play with them. So one of those players is Aaron wan he's 27 years of age, his overalls 85 but I haven't enjoyed using them for about two seasons now. So I want about 55 million from this deal. I don't want less than 50. I want to recoup back what we paid for him initially. And uh, hopefully Leicester City will be silly enough to actually take this guy. Okay, so this is uh, the moment of truth. This is the second leg against Liverpool of the Carabao Cup. And we need to throw everything that we have left at it. So yeah, we're going to be starting with a, a quite a strong side. This is... A strong enough side to go ahead and turn things around. David De Gea is in goal. We have a uh, Williams at right back, Ferrara at the back next to Varane. Luke Shaw's at left back. McTominay's the uh, number six. Barella's the number eight. We have Johnson as the number ten. Pedence he's on the right hand side. Adiemi in the middle and Vinicius Junior on the left. I have Marcus Rashford on the bench as a quick sub option just in case Vinicius isn't playing well. He hasn't really played too well for the last couple of. Uh, couple of games i've used him so this is probably the wrong match to try to uh, get him to pick up some form but yeah rashford's a bit tired so we have no real choice but to use Vinicius junior so yeah my thing is uh try to get the first goal and work on things from there and uh, be a bit more aggressive in this game uh, i'm losing too many games do you know what do you know what makes it worse is that defeat that i had against juventus where they smashed me 4-0 on camera and uh yeah, that's just kind of playing back in my head. Okay, so uh, we've got this game kicked off. Liverpool against United. Carabao Cup. 4-2 down on aggregate. Need to turn things around. So yeah, we're going to be playing attacking football. I'm going to try to be as, a, as aggressive as uh, Liverpool. And then tense. Okay, well done, Adiemi. Skips past the tackle from Van Van Dijk. Evades the challenges from Trent. Staying one on the cutback. No one's there in time. 
Referee tells him to get back up. Well done, McTomney. Real aggressive approach. Wins the ball back. Come on. No. Oh! oh I feel like deflected into the goal. It looks like we've got a corner, though. Hit his shoulder. That's Mo Salah. Brand as well gets a foot on it. Uh, it looks like we're about to counter. What's Luke Shaw doing? He's making this run. He's just burning out his energy. And he's not going to have enough energy to run back. But here's Oliver Johnson. <sighs> Again, Allison's like a flipping wall. Can't get around him. Shaw. Adiemi. Fabinho's on my first touch. Okay, I need to take a gamble now. We're going to deploy Marcus Rashford as the number nine. He's going to be playing down the middle. Adiemi's off. Okay, so, yeah, we need a bit more movement up front. And a bit more... Need a bit of a, a clinical finisher. Just a bit of one. <laughs> okay, here's a Pedence. Drills it in. There's a block. I just knew I weren't going to get a goal from that attack. That scenario didn't really uh, seem perfect enough. Really easily dealt with. Oh, this is just getting ridiculous. These automatic tackles that the AI just comes up with to make it impossible to win certain games. The scripting is so unreal. Come on, Pedence. We're back in the game. We're back in it. We have seven minutes to turn this around completely. Seven minutes. I don't believe we'll be able to do it. But we need to remain optimistic. Still have some time remaining. It's not over. Come on. Don't don't put the game to bed as I say that. Oh, don't put the game to bed as I say that. Oh my God. What is going on with the defenders? Get this ball cleared, man. These guys are a bunch of clowns. These guys are bottle jobs. Come on, Abraham. Abraham threw on goal. Has Rashford to his left. Abraham to Rashford. Oh, there we go. We've made the comeback. I don't know what's going to happen now. I think we're going to extra time. I think we're going to extra time. Oh, my God. I don't think you guys understand how annoying that, that it got. I don't think you guys understand how long it took me to get an opportunity like that. Liverpool were really compact, really hard to break down. And it was really hard to get the ball off as well. Okay. I think we're going extra time, guys. Okay, the full-time whistle has been blown. So, uh... Oh, it's penalties. Oh, I forgot they changed the rules. We're going straight to penalties. I'm quite good at penalties. We do stand a chance. I think we can actually go on to win the penalty shootout. So yeah, I, did, I just didn't prepare myself for this mentally. Okay, so the first kick is going to be taken by Fabinho. He slots it home as 1-0. Okay, Barella steps up for United. First pen. Oh my God. Allison saves it. Oh, he has a bow. Well done, David De Gea. Rashford. This is a, I feel like this is scripted, if I'm honest with you. There is no way, man. This is so scripted. There is no way. If he guesses this. Uh, he, he went the right way. It's 2-1. Okay, uh, Ndombele. He misses. There's a lifeline. Florian Wirtz. There we go. We're back in it. 2-2 on, uh, on penalties. Uh, Pedri up against... Oh, De Gea. Slots it home. Okay, so we need to score this so we can activate Sun and Death penalties. Tammy Abraham. He's not really had the best of seasons. not really had a great career at United. This is a really crucial moment for our hopes of uh, remaining in the shootout. 
Oh, he hits the bar and it goes in. Really lucky there. Diogo Jota, first penalty in sudden death. David De Gea makes the save. Get in. David De Gea with the crucial save. Scott McTominay. Really solid player. Can he put this game to bed? And get us into the finals. Scott McTominay steps up. He misses as well. The shootout continues. Alexander Arnold. He misses. <laughs> oh, this is a circus. Ferrara. 56 million centre back from AC Milan. Is it his turn now to mess up? Or is he going to score the penalty that puts us in the final? And he is. It's the goal. It's the penalty that decides the, the semi-finals. And now we're in the final. Liverpool have flopped. They were 4-2 up on aggregate. We came into this game with all the odds against us. It was really hard to break them down for about 70 minutes. We somehow found a way to get back into the game and equalise. And then look, even on penalties, we were 2-0 down. We managed to pull it back. It's incredible scenes. I can't believe we actually managed to turn things around. And there we have it. We are going to Wembley. We have booked our place at Wembley. Okay, so that's all the games done for January. And we booked our place in the final. So we're going to Wembley. I think uh, Chelsea still need to play Nottingham Forest. Uh, just to decide whether we're playing them or not in the forest. But uh, we've got something else to talk about. Axel Twanzibi has had contact from uh, another club. He is a uh, he is going to be a free agent at the end of the season. And uh, yeah, teams can approach him from now. I'm not going to intervene. We're going to let uh, the, con the contract talks uh, run its course. Southampton are the team that are looking to poach him. Okay, so we're meeting up against one of our Champions League rivals. We had them last year in the Champions League and we just about got got past them. Uh, but we have them again in around the 16. So the first leg is going to be away from home in the Santiago Bernabeu. Okay, so we have an offer for Tammy Abraham from uh, Aston Villa, 79.8 million, which is 20 million above how much I paid for him. I think I paid 59.6 million. Uh, I will sell him. But I don't think selling him right now is beneficial for us. So I'm going to reject that. He'll be one of the players I'm going to look to sell in the summer. And uh, also to Mori as well. He's not really uh, gelling as uh, one of the centre-backs on my side. I'm going to reject it for now. But again, same as uh, Abraham. I'll be looking to move to Mori and Abraham on in the summer. Unless they impress from now to the end of the season okay so as we speak we are scouting uh, for players to add to our youth academy so far we've added four new faces so castillo 17 years of age he's argentine he's argentinian uh we have uh, teddy dodd the english center mid 15 years of age summers as well the winger he's 15 years of age and theodore drew is also uh, a forward he's 17 years of age Okay, so the player that stands out for me the most in out of the, the four players that I signed to my academy is Teddy Dodd. But uh, my only concerns about him is his physical attributes. So I'm going to assign him as a ball winning midfielder. So from now until the end of the season, we're going to assess and evaluate his uh, progression in that department. But after that, we are going to try set him up as a box to box midfielder. So at the moment, we've got a little plan going on in terms of his development. Okay, because I didn't bless you guys with any new signings, I'm going to cover signings elsewhere. So Chelsea managed to bring in Anthony. They signed him for 143 million. Uh, we also got a transfer for Lataro Martinez. He's joined Chelsea on the deadline day as well. 121 million again. Uh, so we have uh, Gabriel Jesus. We already know about him. He joined for 107 million. Bellingham's gone to Leverkusen for 106 million. So Lea joined Tottenham. 102 million. This is just getting crazy. De Bruyne has joined Barcelona for 93 million. Uh, we also have a transfer for nobody else. Vlahovic. Bayern Munich bought Vlahovic from Man Manchester City for 68.9 million. Uh, who else? Who else is a January transfer? So Ravella has gone to Valencia as well. So yeah, we're going even further down. De Bala. De Bala joined Liverpool. These crazy deals. Okay, so you've come to the end of the episode now. And uh, yeah, my my feeling about this episode, I've enjoyed playing this, these games. I've enjoyed creating this episode. However, I've not enjoyed getting spanked 
on the field. I've not enjoyed getting beaten by Tottenham. But, uh, yeah, we managed to pull things back in the end. We booked a, a spot in the final against Chelsea at Wembley. Uh, we managed to turn things around on penalties. And even in the tie, we were trailing by two goals on penalties and in the tie. So, yeah, we came through adversity and uh, we do have a lot of positive things to look forward to in February. But yeah, if you made it this far, please remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, drop some comments below, and also share with your mates. Also, follow me on Instagram at RomelHD. Uh, that way you can get updates outside of YouTube and you can find out whenever I'm posting or premiering a video. It's time to, to say goodbye. I hope to see you guys in episode 49. Goodbye for now. Take care. Peace.